You've probably seen some of the biggest creators in the world promote them. Mr. Beast, Linus Tech Tips, and yes, maybe myself. Although I, I probably don't belong on that list. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. But what is it? How does it work? And what are the potential risks, if any, of using this increasingly popular service? I make weekly videos helping people like you save money on streaming services and learn how to optimize their device. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is by hitting that subscribe button right down below. In short, they're used to protect your data. And they do this by creating a secure connection with the VPN server. Every device and home network have something called an IP address. This is essentially an online identifier made up of a numerical code. Let's say you're trying to load up a website. Well, that request along with your IP address is sent to your internet service provider. They then fulfill that request and boom, you got your website. But it's not just your request that is always sent. In fact, confidential information, including your data, can also be sent along the way. This can be a vulnerable process, and along the way, hackers and even big companies can find ways to get this data. For example, if you're traveling and you're connecting to your hotel's Wi-Fi, maybe you're looking something up on your bank. This leads for a potential opportunity for a hacker to get onto the same network and potentially steal your data. On the other hand, companies are constantly stealing our data, but they use it in a different way to target ads towards us or to sell it off to data brokers. That's where using a VPN can help to block these leaks. Earlier, we talked about how your requests are automatically sent to your internet service provider. Well, a VPN essentially acts as the middleman. With a VPN connected, your requests will go directly to the VPN server through an encrypted tunnel. From there, it will go to your ISP, and then boom, like normal, you get your website. All of this doesn't 100% protect your data. It still adds an extra layer of protection that is definitely safer and more protective than the other option. That's why you see a lot of big companies require VPNs both when their employees are traveling or even if they just work from home. Now you may be thinking, well, doesn't that just mean the VPN company has all my data now? That really depends. Different VPNs have different terms of services. For example, IPVanish, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, they all have a no log policy. That means they don't store any of your data that's coming in. That request happens and everything else is off the books. Where something like free VPNs will almost certainly be selling your data back to the highest bidder. They do have to make money somehow and your data can be extremely valuable. There's so many examples of companies just straight out selling your data against policy like Facebook, for example. So I would never 100% trust these companies, but I think going with one with a no log policy at least puts you in a position to be safer. A really useful VPN feature is the ability to change your online location. Our IP addresses are linked to our relative physical location. So for example, when I look up a website, they can tell at the very least that I'm in Edmonton, Canada. Most VPNs have servers all around the world. And that means you can pick any of these servers to make your requests go through. A lot of different websites and services restrict the ability to use them based on our location. For example, in Texas, they changed a law recently where you can't even freely watch corn without first verifying a bunch of your information. Connecting to a VPN, you would easily be able to switch your location to anywhere else in the US or around the world. Pretty cool. Because of complicated content rights agreements, streaming services even use geo restrictions to block the content you're watching in different countries. For instance, Netflix Canada will have different shows and movies from Netflix UK. Or apps such as Zumo Play, which gives you free shows and movies, can only be accessed in the United States. Even apps such as Kodi can get more links by changing your online digital location. By using a VPN, we can access more free content and content we're paying for already than ever before. One of the most commonly asked questions I get with a VPN, can it affect my internet speed? And well, in some cases, it can. A VPN is still an extra step in the processes. And in most cases, you will see at the very least a slight internet speed decrease. But in some rare cases, you can also see increases. Free VPNs will always be slower than paid premium ones. And they will also result in drastic 
drastic decreases in your internet's download speed. So let's run a speed test with both paid free VPNs and my internet by itself. I do wanna say this is never an exact representation, but it is at least a small sample size to get a good idea of what happens. First, just my internet by itself. And it saw a pretty healthy download speed of 397 and an upload speed of around 157. This is all over Wi-Fi and I do have one gigabit internet speed. Now we're gonna try two different free VPNs, starting with Ola. This resulted in an insane decrease to my internet speed, resulting in a download of 47 and an upload of only 25. Next up is another free VPN, Winscribe. And this one saw an increase from Ola up to 164 in download. And the upload speed was 240, which honestly is a little weird. I don't, I don't actually know how that happened. Now for IP Vanish, our premium service. And this saw crazy increases, actually faster than our regular internet speed at 525 download and all the way up to around 315 upload. IP Vanish is actually the VPN I use every day. Since I work from home, I try to have one connected anytime I'm online. When I'm relaxing on the couch with my puppy after a long day, I like to connect to the Japan server. That way I can get even more anime content out of Netflix. Whatever you're gonna use it for, I have an exclusive discount link down below in the description for over 75% off. The great part is if you don't like it, they have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can cancel it at any point and get 100% of your purchase back. And thank you to IP Vanish for being one of my channel sponsors. I always try to tell you guys the exact truth. And the fact is VPNs can have some risky downsides. For instance, back in 2019, ExpressVPN CIO admitted to being a cyber spy for the UAE. That is pretty crazy for a cybersecurity company. I'm not too sure if I trust a company that can't do the very little work of at least vetting their employees. VPNs can also be leaky, randomly disconnecting at times, leaving your data wide open. Some VPNs such as IP Vanish have a kill switch, which can automatically disconnect your internet anytime this happens. That's a really great safety backup plan. I also mentioned earlier about VPNs potentially collecting your data, and this definitely happens with free VPNs and some premium ones as well. In fact, they even say it in their terms of service. So the no log policy that comes on some of the premium services is pretty important. Now I would never 100% trust a company that say they are not collecting my data, but at least it gives you a little bit of a safety net and reassurance. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.